Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part 7 of my Fallout New Vegas on PC in 2017 guide. Today we are going to install the Pip Girl Palm Pilot, as well as some Pip Girl icons for the Pip Girl, and a new doll for the Pip Girl, as well as some billboards and paintings and things like that. As always, please check out the previous videos in the guide. If you get to a point to where you're not sure how to continue, this guide is in chronological order. So we're going to head over to the Nexus and get the official Pip-Boy Redius mod. So click the Download with Nexus Mod Manager button, as always, and go ahead and install the official Pip-Boy Redius mod. Then we're going to head over to plugins and we see there is a Redius plugin. So we're going to launch loot here real quick. And once loot is up and running, we're going to go ahead and sort those mods. And we're going to go ahead and launch the game here real quick. And then just to make sure that our pit boy is functioning. So we're going to launch NVSC and then load up a save to make sure the game is still stable. And then we'll open the pit boy to ensure that the Redius has been properly applied. So the game is still loading fine. So we're going to take a quick walk around here to make sure that everything is running as expected. And then we're going to open up the pit boy and we see the Redius is loaded. So we've got a little Palm Pilot and that looks to be installed correctly. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of here and move along to the next mod. Okay, so next up is going to be Pit Gal Stats NV. So this is a mod that changes the New Vegas doll. So we're going to download this, and you, you need this mod as a base for the other mod we're going to use. So here we're just going to grab the Pit Gal Stats Paper Doll version 1.2. And once that's downloaded, we're going to double click it and install it. And we get a conf confirmation here. We're going to click Yes to Mod to allow this mod to overwrite the Darnified UI files. But we will need a patch to make this work with Darnified moving forward. So check the plugins and there is not a plugin for this so we're ready to move on to the next mod so next up we're going to get the pit gal stats nv fix and this is going to fix an issue where limbs disappear when you are injured so go ahead go to files and then here we want to get the pit girl nv and there's going to be two options here there's a vanilla hud fix and a darnified ui hud fix if you're using the Darnified UI, then make sure you get the Darnified UI version. And we're going to double click that to install and activate the mod. Check the plugins, and there is a plugin for that fix. So we need to run it along to loot and then resort our plugins. And finally, we can get to the mod we actually want to install the Vault Girl mod, New Vegas Edition. So this is going to replace all the icons in the Pip Boy with images of a Pip, -Pip Girl. So here we're going to download the Vault Girl Mod NV, which this mod depends on those previous two mods, which is why we installed them in that order. And there's two versions of this. There's a not safe for work bikini version, and then there's a standard version, a lower friendly version. We picked the standard version. So here we get a prompt that this is going to overwrite the pit gal stats, and we want to do that, so click yes to mod. Okay, then we need to go get that Dynified UI patch for Pip Girl. If you're using the Darnified UI, if you're using vanilla and you're not using the Darnified, then of course skip this step. And just double click the download to install and activate the mod. And we get prompted here for confirmation to overwrite. And we're going to click yes to mod for that prompt. We're going to check the plugins. And we do see a new plugin here. So we're just going to resort. And then we're going to launch the game to ensure that our new doll appears within the icons in the Pip-Boy. And we can see in the upper left hand corner that the little Pip-Boy has been replaced with a Pip-Girl. And then here we just want to open up our Pip-Boy and take a look at the icons in the Pip-Boy to ensure that they are now Pip-Girl instead. So here we can see there's the special screen and we can see that yeah all the icons there have been changed to Pip-Girl and it looks like the skills have been changed and some of the perks have been changed. Okay, so that mod appears to be working correctly. 
So the last pod we want to add today is going to be the women of New Vegas. Then this is optional. You can get this if you want, but this is going to change the load screen. And it's going to change billboards and signs and posters and things like that. None of these images in here are, ne are pornographic. It is listed as adult only, but the images are all generally tasteful. They're not pornographic. Uh, but again, it's up to you if you want this. You can leave this out if you don't want this, but the load screens are a nice touch, particularly the, the first startup screen. I, I really like it. So if you want it, then go ahead and grab the all-in-one download link and then just double-click to install. Uh, now here, Nexus Mod Manager crashed on me again. So we're going to click through these crash dialogs, but I can see in the background that it's actually still doing the installation. So I'm going to let that installation finish before I click OK to, to close the program. And now we're going to like click OK and let it crash and do its thing. And then we're just going to reload the Nexus Mod Manager and reactivate the mod. And then in this case, we're just going to click yes to all because it did the install, but it failed and it's not sure what it's overriding. So we're just going to click yes to mod, let it overwrite everything. And then after a minute or two, it should finish the installation successfully. We're going to check the plugins and see that there was a plugin associated with this mod. So we're going to launch loot again, restart our plugins. And finally, we want to relaunch the game and check the loading screens to ensure that they're all working correctly. So that about wraps up the, today's video for installing the Pip Girl. A little bit more complicated than some of the other ones, but it creates a really nice effect. So that'll be it for today's episode. I hope that we'll see you in the next episode. We'll talk to you guys later.